supreme point of Hinduism, who is the Paramavatara, the Nijavatara of Meenakshi Sundareshwara, along with the Darshan of the Archavatara, the deities of Meenakshi and Soma Sundareshwara Swami. We can see the devotees attending to the Nitya Nadam that is happening in Kailasa Madhuri. The Supreme Prime of Hinduism, Bhavan Nityanand Parmashivam, revealed the divine vision of Shyamala Pita Sarvagya Pita. He blessed that Nitya Nadana should be continuously serving to the devotees of Madhuri. Here, both the here in the Chitra month, in Madhuri, thousands of devotees come through the Anman Sanidhi Street. We are witnessing Nanvis from Shyamala Peter Sarvagni. devotion dropping all of their karmas at the feet of Meenakshi Sundareshwara come and partake the food given to them. The whole tempi and temple ambience rejuvenates and literally they are living manifest in Parameshiva. When they receive food is the same as Parameshiva himself accepting our food offerings. The Shyamala Pita Sarvagni Pita is blessed by the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshiva be continuously providing anadhanam, distributing free meals, having 11 items in number. All the food is cooked according to Parameshiva's Pagashastra, which includes all the necessity ingredients to sustain a long, happy, healthy, cruelty-free life. All the food is first offered to Meenakshi Sundareshwara's deities, and that food is prasada, again returned. Prasada is distributed continuously in the Anandam in Kailasa Madhuri. We can see in Kailasa Madhuri, there is a crowd of devotees eating and drinking the Raswati Devi on this auspicious seventh day of the Chaitri Pralibhira. Nandi has Nandi. the Adhikara in Kailasa, the authority as the administrator and registrar of Kaila. He is an adherent devotee of Parashiva and is set his on Parashiva. Devi Meenakshi is going to grace us on the 
touch the yarli vahana touch the yarli vahana it is a mythic mystical creature it is a mythic an ancient creature creature an ancient creature it is portrayed and it is an a part lion part elephant part horse and other animals also it has bird like creatures and it is a very powerful animal that also helped build the city of madurai at the time of meenakshi we can see the temple pillars in the madurai meenakshi temple have this yali holding up the pillar Meenakshi is described in the Lalita Sahasranama to be as radiant and resplendent as thousand suns rising. She is called as Udhyat Bhanu Sahasranama. She has the radiance thousand suns. How the rising sun dispels all the darkness of night and gives us beautiful insight and life all around. The same way the darshan of Devi Meenakshi dispels all of our sorrow and bestows on us the most auspicious blessings the chitre pelvila is the celebration of the light and glory of the pinakshi parameshwara shakti cosmic mother herself the queen pandya madurai samrajya who ruled along with bhagavan somasundareshwara shiva who both established the dwadasha this evening meenakshi amasundaresh swami will grade the amasundari street on which kailasa madure is there right before the temple of meenakshi the vigraha fortunate ones who are living it and all year and all day the darshan of their lord mother the city is with activity the economy takes a huge positive shift actually in the festive season that's the, the best merchant and all are served to the deity the devotees all of the newcomers and par shakti in kailasa are constant heads anadikara nandi is the executive officer he has highest executive authority in kailasa devis in madhur they anticipate getting them ready spiritually taking all the austerities possible prepare for darshan many do us during these months have the best way to receive meenakshi in their life they take vratas or vows before the deity to live in sanctity and spirit and perform austerity or come and have the darshan of meenakshi regularly chant of meenakshi and chant to her every day they sit at homes and pray to meenakshi day in and day out and finally all of them 
asking answered at the time when we see all of us to answer Minakshi and Sira hands all of their prayers. Just being in this game is a second and excitement in India. Since go in the all night sitting with the deities. They will witness the deal and as soon as they have done, the legs the direction where the deity going and just follow. They want to be with Swamas and the and Minakshi all day and all evening. Preparing each community from various villages all are come together and the best and the best folk best folk the traditions of Meenakshi you can see between us or between the deity folk traditions and the folk uh, traditions are all oriented on various people who come want to display their love devotion through their Meenakshi, Meenakshi Devi, mastered the 64 Kalas. She is Saraswati herself with all the knowledge, the traditions, original class, dance, sing, chants, dance during this birthday lunch. Before the street, before the deities come onto the street, the street is washed. It takes a walk. The traditional rice kolam is drawn around, giving a beautiful and a spectacle to the eyes of the worker, and those are specifically made to please the eye of the Such a relaxing effect on the eye and gives a beautiful experience in the temple ambience. Along with that, in the modern day, the lightings of City lights and all of these best creations are given as a lit up in this time. You can see that everyone is there is holding an umbrella. It is a little raining at that time, but the rain does not stop them from seeing their deities. Here, even rain or shine, the deity is coming means they will stand, they will wait for him, no matter in rain or shine, they will wait for their Lord and they'll wait for Meenakshi Devi. Just the waiting itself, the anticipation that now I'm going to see Somasundareshwara, my God, and I'm going to see Devi, my mother, Meenakshi. This anticipation itself is something that everyone waits the whole year for. to various things of the coast. Today, Devi Meenakshi is gracing on the Rajita Yali Vahana. The Yali was a real life animal that was like But it was a real animal that was also very special and helpful in construction temp and also in wages. All the bees in Madurai Kaila anticipate this the animals, the streets, the dogs, the cows, all of them wait so much on 
the supreme prophet had re- revealed his avatarana his incarnation incarnationhood being the reincarnation of meenakshi herself the supreme pontiff of hinduism bhagwan shri nityananda parameshwaram's bio memory is meenakshi herself it, that when consciousness was creating the best bio memory to rule a kingdom it created the meenakshi queen bio memory the reason is that for a ruler certain responses certain bio memory which is built based on certain responses is required bio memory is the uh, cognitions or the way you you live with the world around you this is unkshed rule by your memory of an enlightened ruler the incarnation of a of a king who is like meenakshi was the best incarnation with the queen by your memory and he responded that how ruler should respond life situations not it was a small conflict in someone's life or the foreign affairs of a kingdom everything comes from the context of enlightenment that was the best bio memory possible the spirit of hinduism reveals the teamics and the way he responds is pleased a few thousand years old full proof time tested and old wisdom way rules and ministers creates a system an organ system time tested and has helped humanity from ages we can see now ananam has begun to meet a speed the city of life the pilgrims who in deep devotion drop all of their karmas at the feet of meenakshi are rejuvenated completely but ambient the food is literally offered to parameshiva himself when he come in but the food is special as it is the very prasad of parameshiva somasundareshwara swam in meenakshi devi the food is 11 items in number and it is served every day throughout the day in kailasa madure it includes the ingredients to sustain a long happy healthy cruelty free life for power station pass between some like parameshiva pakshasa the other book is used to make all of the recipes in the food that is cooked
ಸಗಿದೆ ಅಂಬಕದಂಬವನ ಸ್ಥಿರವಾಸಿನಿ ಅಂಬುಜಲೋಚನೆಯ ಮರನೂತೆ ಅತಿ ಮೃತ ಭಾಷಿಣಿ ಅಮೃತ ಕಟಾಕ್ಷಣಿ ಆಶ್ರಿತ ರಕ್ಷಿಣಿ ಹರ ಸಗಿದೆ ಸಂಬರ ಬೈರಿ ಸದಾರ್ಚಿತ ಚರಣ ಸರೋರು ಿ 
ನಿತ್ಯನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪಾಲಯಮ್ಮ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪಾಲಯಮ್ಮ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪಾಲಯಮ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪೂಜಿತ ಚರಣೆ ಬಿಂದು ತ್ರಿಕೋಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಕ್ರ ನಿವಾಸಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪೂಜಿತ ಚರಣೆ ಬಿಲ್ವಾರ್ಚನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಶಿವ ಹೃದಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಬೃಹನ್ನಾಯಗಿ ಬಾಬಯ ಹರಣೆ ಬಿಲ್ವಾರ್ಚನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಶಿವ ಹೃದಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಬೃಹನ್ನಾಯಕಿ ಬಾಬಯ ಹರಣೆ ಮಂದಗಮನಿ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಸೋದರಿ ಮಾತಂಗಿ ಮರಗದ ವರ್ಣೆ ಮಂದಗಮನಿ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಸೋದರಿ ಮಾತಂಗಿ ಮರಗದ ವರ್ಣೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶೋಭಿತ ಕಂಡ ಯುಗೆ ವಾಸಮಘೋಷರ ವೈಭವ ಸುಚರಿತೆ ವಾಸವ ಪೂಜಿತ ಚರಣ ಯುಗೆ ವಾಸಮಘೋಷರ ವೈಭವ ಸುಚರಿತೆ ವಾಸವ ಪೂಜಿತ ಚರಣ ಯುಗೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಶಂಕರಿ ನಿತ್ಯಪುರಿ ನಾಯಕಿ ನಿತ್ಯನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪಾಲಯ
ಪನ್ನಗವೇಣಿರಲಂಕೃತ ಚಂದ್ರದರೆ ಪರಿಮಳ ಪುಷ್ಪ ವಿರಾಜಿತ ಪನ್ನಗವೇಣಿರಲಂಕೃತ ಚಂದ್ರದರೆ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಸಿಮಂದ ಸಿಂಧೂರ ಋಣೋದಯ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ರೂಪದರೆ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಸಿಮಂದ ಸಿಂಧೂರ ಋಣೋದಯ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ರೂಪದರೆ ಸರಿ ಗಮ ಪದನಿ ಸತ ಸ್ವರ ಸಂಗೀತ ನಂದ ವಿನೋದಗರೆ ಸರಿ ಗಮ ಪದನಿ ಸತ ಸ್ವರ ಸಂಗೀತ ನಂದ ವಿನೋದಗರೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹೇ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಶಂಕರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಪುರಿ ನಾಯಕಿ ಪಾಲಯ ಪುರಿ ನಾಯಕಿ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯೇಶ್ವರಿ ಿಂದ ಇಡೆಯು 
நொடி தோறும் நொடி தோறும் புதிதான எழில் கொள்ளும் நுவலறிய திருமேனையும் வார்க்குங்குமக்கச்சு மார்பும் அம்மார்பேனில் வாடாத மலர் மாலையும் வயிரமோடு நவமணி வயங்கும் மங்கல நாடும் மனம் வீசும் இனிய பொலிவும் காக்கும் கரங்களும் அங்கு சப்பாசம் கரும்புவில் மலர்கள் ஐந்தும் கனிவாயில் மூரலும் கருணை பொழி விழிகளும் கனகமணி ஒளிரும் முடியும் ஈர்க்கும் சுடர் முகமும் இருவிழி கழிப்பையாம் எங்கெங்கும் காண அருள்வாய் இறைவி எனை ஆண்டருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே சீரார் பெருந்துறையில் சிவயோக நாயகி சிவகாமி தில்லை மன்றில் தென்குமரி பகவதி திருவானை காவினில் திகழும் அகிலாண்டேஸ்வரி காரார் மதிர் கட்சி காமாட்சி அங்கயர் கண்ணி செந்தமிழ் மதுரையில் ஆரார் சிவன் போலும் தமிழும் விளைபவள் சமயபுரம் மதனில் மாறி கட்டாமல் கடவுள் பட்டருக்குள் temple ambience continuously as the drums are beaten in the procession in the presence of the divine elephants with the elephants who are always every day they are grow up in the temple they are not normal elephants they are like wild elephants they are literally devotees of parmashiva and parmashiva shakti every day the elephant goes to the temple and it offers its own worship to parmashiva and meenakshi all the animals are wild they are not even domesticated they are literally beings just like us more than humans also because of the devotion that they radiate is so beautiful simple fitness ஸ்ரீதரன் மதுசூதனன் துளசி மாலை மார்பன் கேசவன் வைகுந்தன் அச்சுதன் மலை மேலும் மலை மேலும் வாழ்கின்ற மறை நாயகன் தாதவிதல் மலைக்கூந்தல் ஜானகி மனவாளன் ஜனத்தனன் தேவதேவன் சாரங்கநாரணன் தாமோதரன் போதை தலைவன் ஆழ்வார்கள் நேசன் மேதினி அடந்த கிரி விக்ரமன் திருமகள் விழைகின்ற பதுமநாபன் வேறு வேறான பெயர் நூறு நூறாய் விரியும் மேகவண்ணன் தங்கையே இதன வரைந்து யாம் போதுதற்கரியனின் இசை பாடம் ஏது காணை ஆண்டருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரிவாளும் literally every conversation every dialogue that they have with anyone in they they have always inclusive of the day the temple they live literally so they experience it in their life and when others all remember today morning him in the evening he was beautifully dressed in this cloth how he saw you see him here the conversations are 
They greet each other, especially those who are priests in the family. In the condition with the other people, Opini Suramini, Amsini, Sumbadi Suramadini, Salini Sanadini, Daruni Kalyani, Shiva Shankari, Sarakesi, Sambavi Kalavadi, Daruma Vardini, Janani Samundi Deva Devi. மாஷக்தி கவுமாரி மாதங்கி காங்காளி மனுன்மணி புவனேஷ்வரி வாராகி இந்தானி வைரவி ஜைய வைனவி மகிஷ்வரி காத்தியாயினி பேசரிய அபிராமி பிரம்மானி காயத்ரி பிரி சூடி முத்து மாரி பெரிய நாயகி குமரி அரிய நாரினி கவுரி பெற்றமிக குட்றி நீலி தேசுமிக சுந்தரி பவானி கார்த்திகை வானி திரியம்பகி சிவ சங்கரி திரி சூலி காமாச்சி சிம்தவாகினி மைடன் சிரமேரும் கண்டி காலி ஈசன் மனையாட்டியம் பெருமாட்டி மீனாச்சி இனையடிகள் போற்றி போற்றி இறைவி எனை ஆண்டருளும் நித்தினித்தி புரிவாளும் உமையே Oh, 
பாதமும் நீ புவி எங்கும் நான் காணும் புலிவும் நீ போதம் நீ முன்னும் நீ நடுவும் நீ முடிவும் நீ முடிவிலா முழுமை நீ ஞானம் நீ முதுமை நீ இளமை நீ மோகம் நீ தாகம் நீ மூணம் நீ காணும் நீ மண்ணும் நீதான் எனது வாழ்வென்று வளம் என்று பதுவும் ஒரு நெஞ்சமோ இன்னும் நீ சற்றும் இறங்காதிருந்திடில் என் உயிர் இனி மிஞ்சுமோ இறைவி என ஆண்டருளும் நித்தியனித்தேஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி என ஆண்டருளும் நித்தியனித்தேஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே மலை மீதினில் கந்தருவற்கின்னனர் கணநாதர் சித்தர்கள் கண்டு தொல நின்ற பொருளே வெற்பூர கங்கையை வில்வமுடனாத்தியை வெள்ளறு கைத்தும் பையை மிடைக்குன்ற பாம்பினோடு பிறை சூடுவான் பங்கில் மேவி தழைத்த எல்லே மற்போர் துணிந்த மாமயிடன் தலை மீது மனை போற்ற ஏறு திரலே மாறுபடு சூர குலம் மீறு படமேல் தந்து வாகை மலர் சூடு மருளே எப்பொழுது மேலெழும் இளைஞாயிரே எங்கள் ஏழ்மை தவிர்த்த அரசே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டருளும் நித்தியனித்தேஸ்வரி புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி என ஆண்டருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே பாடி உலகெங்கும் கூத்த 
தாட உதவுவாயா ஈழார் பெருந்துறை சிவயோக வல்லியே ஈசனார் மகிழும் மலரே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்தியநித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்தியநித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே தமிழேனும் அளப்பரும் தன் கடல் சூழ் மதுரை தலைவினி அமுதவாக்கால் சங்கரன் வணங்கிய சிவானந்த சௌந்தரிய தத்துவச் செல்வியும் நீ இமய மலை மேருவில் குமரி முனை அலைகளில் சீர்பூத்த பைங்கொடியும் நீ சிறுவென்று புகழ் கொண்ட முகவை சிவகங்கை முதல் தேசங்கள் ஆழ்பவள் நீ சமயங்கள் யாவிலும் அமைகின்ற உண்மை நீ சன்மார்க்க வள்ளல் தாய் நீ சபரிமலை காஷ்மீரம் ஸ்ரீ சைலம் காசி எனும் தலந்தோறும் வாழ்பவள் நீ இமையோரும் முனிவரும் இலங்கையும் புலவோரும் மலரடிகள் வாழி இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே மணப்பொழிலில் விளையாடும் அன்னமே ஆதி சிவன் மலை மார்பிலே அசையும் பசுங்கொடிய ஆகம புராணங்கள் அடைவறிய தொடுவானமே கொடியோர் உயிர் பருகும் புலிசமே அவுணர்தம் கோட்டையில் விழுந்த கணலே குலமாதர் மஞ்சளோடு குங்குமம் காக்கின்ற கோமல தெய்வ மலரே கடவா பவக்கடல் கடக்க வரு தோணியே காமம் கடுஞ்சினத்தை காய்கின்ற பருதியே நோய் சாவு கவலைகள் களைகின்ற அருமருந்தே இடையீடில்லாத தருமழை மேகமேயம் மிளக்காவதும் பாதமே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே தேராத கவியனினும் மாறாத காதலால் திருமுன்பு சாற்றுகின்றேன் சிந்தை அணு ஒவ்வொன்றும் தேவி உனதே ஆக செய்ய தமிழ் பாடுகின்றேன் ஆராத துயருக்கும் அகலாத கவலைக்கும் யாரை நான் நோந்து கொள்வே அறியாது பிழை செய்து சரியாக வதைப்பட்ட அவலத்தை எங்கு சொல்வே நீராகவே நிருதர் புற மூன்றும் செற்ற உனை நெஞ்சார போற்றுகின்றேன் நெற்றி விழியால் எனது குற்றமலை பொடியாக நின் அருளை வேண்டுகின்றேன் ஈரேதும் இல்லாத இன்ப வடிவாகையன் இதய தளமீதும் ஒளிர்வாய் இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே வானமும் பூமியும் மாறினும் மாறாத வாய்மை வடிவான தேவி வழிபாடு செய்பவர் குறைபாடு தீர்ப்பின்ப வாழ்வு தரும் ஆதி தேவி தேனுமாய் அமுதுமாய் சித்தத்திலே நின்று தித்தி திணிக்கும் தேவி சேராரின் மார்பை இரு கூறாகவே செய்யும் திரிசூலம் ஏந்தும் தேவி கானமும் சிற்பமும் கலை மலர் பல பலவும் காணிக்கை கொள்ளும் தேவி கற்பனையும் ஒப்பனையும் காலம் ஒரு மூன்றும் கடந்த தேவதேவி ஈனமுன் 
தாண்டாத ஞானமா தேவி உனை என் சொல்லி வாழ்த்துவோம் யாம் இறைவி எனை ஆண்டருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே சடைப்பித்தன் பிஞ்ஞகன் சங்கரன் பிறவாத யாத்தை உடையேன் பேராயிரங் கொண்ட பெருநாவலன் சிவன் பிரம்மன் அறியாத மறையோ கரையார் கழுத்தினன் கண்ணுதல் கயர் கண்ணி காதலன் கங்கை நாடன் காலத்தினாதன் கபாலி கங்காதரன் கைலையோன் மங்கை பாகன் யார் புனற்றில்லை சித்திரம் பலத்தினன் பிரியம்பகம் தியாகராஜன் திரிபுரம் எடுத்தவன் குருபரன் ஈசன் என செப்பும் என் அப்பனான இறையோனும் நீயும் எம் இல்லங்கள் தோறும் எழுந்தருள வேண்டும் அம்மா இறைவி எனை ஆண்டருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் சக்தி வடிவான ஸ்ரீராஜ ராஜேஸ்வரே யாவும் எம் கல்வியும் யாவும் உன் அடைக்கலம் ஸ்ரீராஜ ராஜேஸ்வரே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே செல்வி போற்றி நாவுக்கும் நெஞ்சுக்கும் நலம் தந்து இனிக்கின்ற நாதாந்த சக்தி போற்றி நான் என்று எனதென்றும் நலியாத நிலை சேர்க்கும் ஞான பூங்கோதை போற்றி 
பாவுக்கும் பூவுக்கும் பாதம் பெயர் தருளும் பாண்டி மாதேவி போற்றி பணிவார்த்தம் துயரோடு பிணியாவும் பொடியாக்கும் பரம கல்யாணி போற்றி ஏவல் கொண்டு பல காவல் செய் அன்னை நின் இணையடிகள் போற்றி போற்றி இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே இறைவி எனை ஆண்டொருளும் நித்திய நித்தீஸ்வரி நித்திய புரி வாழும் உமையே
Shistuti is a beautiful composition by Sita the Raj of the Kanan Kingdom. We'll see as the Minakshi the Shara when presented this very Sotra. Meaning this Sotra declares the beauty and devotion of Astyamani. He says, he says I meditate upon Goddess Meena, she is the daughter of King Pandya, who is the cause of delight of Lord Shiva Parmashiva, who takes immense pleasure in her presence and is worshipped by Parmashiva and Mahavishnu and all the deities. She is in meditation Shiva and Mahasana, who is the faith of Arshiva. She is the provider of happiness and fortune. I shall meditate upon Sri Meenakshi, who is the daughter of King Pandya, who is majestically seated on the marvelous throne, who carries a bow and arrow. Jodhpur, the Kalta, the Samstam, 
Manakshi, who is the daughter of King Pandya, who decked in a marvelous crown in the Mangal Sutra, spreads intense luster. She is decorated with various very precious ornaments, the crescent moon and the marvelous earrings. She is the symbol of the Vedic hymns. She is majestically seated on the throne of King of Pandya. She is Dhamma, who is not perceivable to the senses. I shall meditate upon Goddess Sri Meenakshi, who is the daughter of King Pandya. Her beautiful head is of superior beautiful beauty. appearance, and she is the symbol of Paradhama. I shall meditate upon Goddess Sri Meenakshi, who is the daughter of King Pandya, who represents the three dimensions of Atma Vidya, the three dimensions of Bindu, and she dwells in the Trikona and the Trilokavana. She symbolizes the Tribija and the center of the Trimurti. She is the consort of Param Brahma, of Paramashiva. I shall meditate on the lotus feet of Meenakshi, who is the daughter of King Pandya. She is highly enthusiastic and she is bedecked in marvelous anklets decorated with beautiful little bells. She has large and high raised bosom that causes slight bend in the forefront of her body. She has a lotus feet and is decorated with superior lakshajara, the colorful paste of rich fragrances. We will now offer the Paradhana to the deities of today's production of Meenakshi and Sundareshwara. Tanmaheshaya Vidmahe Vak Vishuddhaya Dhimahe Tanna Shiva Prachodayate Om Sarva Mangala Mangalye Shive Sarvartha Sadhike Sharanye Trambake Gauri Narayani Namostute Om Hamsa Hamsa Yidmahe Paramahamsa Yadhimahe Annohamsa Prachodayate Shri Nityananda Shara Parashiva Sambhara Shri Nityananda Shara Parashiva Shakti Meenakshi Devya Namaha Sarvadeva Devi Surupaya Bhagavate Shri Nityananda Parashiva Yadmaha Karpura Irajan Sandarisa Jami Rakshandhara Jami Om Sada Bindu Madhyola Sattve Niramyam Samuttunga Vakshoja Bharavanamram Kvanannu Puropeta Lakshara Sardra Surat Pada Padmam Paje Pandya Balam Yamat Yashta Yoga Garupa Marupa Akarachakarantavanamavarnam Akhandamananyam Chintyamadakshyam Ameyatma Vidyam Bhaje Pandyabalam Sudhasagarante Manitvipa Madhye Lasatkalpa Vrikshu Jalat Bindu Chakre Mahayoga Pire Shivakara Manje Satsanishannam bhaje pandyabalam Sushumnandara 
सस्रपथे रवींद्रक्तुक्त चित्र मध्य सुधा मंडल स्थे सुपीठे सदा संचर भजे पांड्य बाला क्षणते नवांते लसत्वशाते महाबिंदुग्धे सुनातरा शिवाख्ये कलाशे सदा संचर भजे पांड्य बाला I meditate on Goddess Shri Meenakshi, who is the daughter of King Pandya. She is the symbol of the superior wisdom and knowledge. Invisible Arupa as well. She remains the beginning and the end as well. She remains Varnam Kalar and Avarnam. She is not perceivable through the senses. I meditate upon Goddess Sri Meenakshi, who is the daughter of King Pandya. She dwells on the shores of the ocean of wealth. She resides in the middle of the Manidvipa, the continent of jewels. She appears as the Kapuruksh, the wish fulfilling tree. Chakra. She is Mukha Shivakaram. Shivakaram. As its cushion, I shall meditate upon Goddess Sri Meenakshi, who is the daughter of King Pandya. She explores through the divine Sri Chakra. She is seated on the Sahasraram, the lotus flower that has thousands of petals. She dwells with Lord Surya. She dwells with Lord Surya, Lord Chandra, and Lord Agni in the middle of the Sri Chakra. She resides in the Shuddha Mandalam. She is supreme. I meditate on God of Shrimina. Aggregate of twelve. She dwells in the middle of the Mahabindu. She is harmonious. She is eternal bliss. She is beyond time and remains noiseless. She is always on the move. I shall meditate on Goddess Sri Meenakshi, who is the daughter of Pandya, who dwells in the Chatur Mar Marga with limbs. She resides inside the auspicious corner and the lotus shaped well. She appears as a lotus and does not require any support. She represents the 16 forms of of arts and she is always on the move Priti Pada Sri Meenakshi who is the daughter of King Pandya she appears as dissolved in air and brilliance she always isn't she symbolizes as maha shodha and she dwells in the thought and she is always on the move तन्महेशाय विमहे वाक्शुद्धा धीमह तन्न शिव प्रचोदयात् ओ सर्वंगलमंगल्ये शिवे सर्वाथ साधि के शरण्ये त्रंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तु ते ओ हंस हंसाय विमहे परम हंसाय धीमह तन्नो हंस प्रचोया श्री नित्यानंदेश्वर परम शिव सोम सुंदरेश स्वामी समेत श्री नित्यानंदेश्वरी परम शिव शक्ति मीनाक्षि देव्य नम पते पते स्वरूपाय भगवते श्री नित्यानंद परम शिवाय नम कर्पूर नीराजन सदर्शयामी रक्षाधारयामी Here in Nityanandeshwar Parameshwara Devalaya at Adiglasa Nityananda Pita Arvagni Pita, the Utsava Vigraha of Devi Meenakshi Parameshwara Shakti graces on the Adhikara Nandivahana 
ആസോദ്സ വിഗ്രഹ അഫ് ഭഗവാൻ സോമസുന്ദരേശ്വര എൻ്റെ വി പിരിയാവിടെ അമ്മൻ ഗ്രേസ് ഓൺ ദ സ്വർണ ഋഷഭവാഹന ഗജ ഗണേശ സുബ്രഹ്മണ്യ ചണ്ഡികേശ്വര സ്വാമി ഗ്രേസ് ഇൻ സർവാലങ്കാര ഓൾസോ തോത്സവ വിഗ്രഹ ഓഫ് ദി സുപ്രീം പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് ഹിന്ദുവിസം ഭഗവാൻ നിത്യാനന്ദ പരമശിവം ഇസ് ഗ്രേസിംഗ് അസ് ടുഡേ ഇൻ ദി അലങ്കാരം ഓഫ് ദി മീനാക്ഷി with great pride and privilege we are grateful that our beloved bhagwan the very manifestation of devi meenakshi parameshwari shakti and bhagwan somasundareshwara parameshiva the supreme pontiff of hinduism bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram is officiating this brahmotsavam all the rituals homas performed during the brahmotsavams and special utsavams here in nityanandeshwara parameshiva devalaya at adi kailasa nityananda peeta sarvagnya peeta are micromanaged by the supreme pontiff himself and are performed by his third eye awakened disciples strictly as per vedas and agamas the source scriptures of sanatana hindu dharma let us now offer the auspicious presence of our beloved bhagwan the ultimate manifestation paramavatara of parameshiva we will offer the lagu puja and seek the deity's grace and blessings ശിവധ്യാനലഗ്നാജ്ഞാനമൂർത്തി ശിവാഖ്യാമതീതാംഭജെ പാണ്ഡ്യബാ ശിവാധിസ്ഫുരത്പഞ്ചമഞ്ചാധിരുഹാംവീനാവർണാം ഓ ൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃതമൃത
मारीर कंता मधु मधु शिंचान देश हर पर में शिव सोम सुंदर श्री स्वामी समेत शिंचान देश हर पर में शिव शक्ति मीना की देव नमः हमरत महान निवेद जब निवेद यामी निवेद जानुदर माजमानम समर पयामी सृष्टि स्थिति विनाशा शक्ति भूते सनादी गुणाश्रिए गुणमये नारायण नमोस्तु ते शरणागत दीनाथ परिण पारायणे सर्वस्ति हरे देवी नारायण नमोस्तु ते श्रीजानंदेश्वर परम शिव सोम सुंदरेश्वर स्वामी समेत श्रीत्यानंदेश्वरी परम शिव शक्ति मीनाक्षी देव ये नम सर्वदेवी स्वरूपाय भगवते श्री नित्यान परम शिवाय नम कर्पूर नीराज सुंदर से जामी रक्षाधार जामी स्तंभस्वे श्रीकैलास प्रधानाय निनंदय मंगल तत्वान प्रदाताय निनंदेशर रूपिणे श्रीकैलास प्रधानाय निनंदय मंगल मूल प्रकृति रूपाय परम शिव शक्ति स्वरूपिणे श्री कैलास प्रधानाय निनंदय मंगल दिशूल हस्ताय काल काल स्वरूपिणे श्री कैलास प्रधानाय निनंदय मंगल आदिपूजा देवाय सकृत्पूर्णत्वे श्री कैलास प्रधानाय निनंदय मंगल सर्वैलाशकाय शत्रु संहार रूपिणे श्री कैलास प्राणाय निनंदय मंगल योग भट्टाभिषिताय रासन्यासधारिणे श्री कैलास प्रधानाय निनंदय मंगल सार्वभौमिकाय राजाचिताय श्री कैलास प्रधानाय निनंदय मंगल मंगल कलपवृक्षा मंगल ज्ञानदायिने परमशिवाय श्री निनंदेशराय मंगल मंगल श्री विद्यांबाई मंगल कामदायिने सर्वंगलदात्री निनंदेशर मंगल मंगल गुरुदेवाय मोक्ष मंगलाराय निनंदय गुरव मंगल स्मृतमहम धन्य मम Thank you for joining us for today's evening rituals of the seventh day celebrations of the Chaitya Parva. These celebrations will continue tomorrow 
on the eighth day with the offering of various homas, abhishekams, rituals, processions, pujas, culminating in the grand auspicious celebration of Devi Meenakshi Pattabhishekam, the crowning ceremony of Devi Meenakshi Paramashiva Shakti as the queen of Madhai Samrajam and the ruler and the spiritual head of Kailas Sonata Shamala Peter Sarvagnya Peetam. We invite you tomorrow to be a part of these grand celebrations. Thank you. Nityananda. Nityanandam, Jnana Patiti Manual, under the guidance of Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam. Let's start with the Sadguru Vandanam. Nityanandam Paramasukanam Kevalam Jnana Murtim Dvandvatitam Gagana Sadusham Dattamasya Dilakshyam Ekam nityam vimalamachalam sarvadi sakshi bhutam bhavati tam triguna rahitam sadgurum tam namami. Let's go through the disclaimers. Security measures. No photography, video, audio, recording. Important cautions. Please be aware of the important cautions. Science of our manifestation is authentic, time-tested, scientific and foolproof. Shastra Pramana, the authentic scriptures, Shrutis, the Vedagamas, stand as a foundation for Hinduism. Akta Pramana, Authentic, time-tested, foolproof compilation of the experience of the sages, rishis, and enlightened masters, which is in terms with the Shastra Pramana. Atma Pramana with Apta Pramana are gurus able to experience and live the truth claimed by the Shastras. Shakshi Pramana, manifestation and experience of the guru's initiation in the disciple of a particular lineage which is demonstrable to the world. Pratyaksha Pramana, having the truth validated by the scientific study. Bhagavan has beautifully given the pramanas to understand the deeper science of the power manifestations. 
Let's go to the Shastra Pramana. The Shastra Pramana for the power of third eye solving the critical problems is given from Vijnana Bharava Tantra. Vijnana, consciousness, Bhairava, one who experienced the consciousness beyond the mind and Tantra is the method. Swasharirasya Dvadashante Manolayat Dridha Buddhe Dridhi Bhutam Tatvalaksham Pravartate Sarvata Swasharirasya Dvadashante Manolayat Dridha Buddhe Dridhi Bhutam Beautifully from the Vijnana Marva Tantra, Sutra 50, Dharana 37, Bhagavan Paramashiva says, From all the sides take one by the Shanta in the body, such as the center between your two eyebrows. Just dissolve your mind in the third eye with a strong, constant, restful awareness. That person who does this is Drida Buddhi, the one who is established in the firm strength of undivided awareness. Just like a how the flame is undisturbed by the air, to him the characteristics of existential reality of the Supreme Consciousness appears and manifests firmly, which does not subside at all. Bhagavan Paramashiva very clearly says how we can manifest the powers of Paramashiva when we have the Drida Buddhi, the strength of non-undivided awareness, the firm strength of undivided awareness here in multiple ways. He is clearly saying how the Drida Buddhi, the consciousness can be experienced. The mind simply dissolves when the ferociousness of who we are is established again and again. Paramashiva, who we are and how we exist is the existential reality. When the mind is wavering in the outer world, it is only a matter. But beyond the mind, the silence, the deep oneness that we can experience with Paramashiva, when we have the initiation, darshan, powerful cognition, that very space when the mind dissolves and only pure experience remains without the verbalization and visualization, what we experience, the pure silence, that experience that is undivided awareness which is the drida buddhi when we are able to establish in that simply we can experience consciousness as our reality again and again bhagavan says how trineta kumbhaka how the breath there is different calcification and detoxing that we can do decalcification and detoxing that can happen and most important bhagavan has given the trineta kumbhaka and when we take the three times prana and we are able to push the carbon dioxide out, the decalcification of the third eye happens, making us experience the higher and higher dimension. The Trinetta Kumbhaka Bhagavan beautifully says how the prana goes in more and more, the body gets detoxed. Bhagavan says muscle, the protein does not build the muscles, it is the prana. That is why the elephant, which takes so much of prana, is so ferocious and so powerful. And the Vayuputra, Hanuman or Bhima is so strong because of the Shakti that is given by the Vayu, the prana, that is existential reality. You become so powerful and you become so beautiful that you can master anything beyond what you have as mind. Bhagavan beautifully says in the Apta Pramana how Paramahamsa Yogananda was in delusion what he wants to do as his further point of his life and after his mother's death he was very disturbed and at that point he was deciding what to do whether he should take the renunciation life or grahastha life and that time he sees a yogi who comes inside his house and clearly says and that he should go ahead with the renunciation. This is beautifully given in autobiography of Yogi. 
chapter 4 na page 52 and it just happens immediately he drops everything and takes up the renunciation as his ultimate goal of life the critical decisions simply happens when in your life when you are aligned to the cosmic geometry you know exactly what needs to drive your life and how your life is being driven and who is driving your life as the ultimate goal Bhagwan beautifully explains how Upanishads guides us the ultimate into the ultimate signs, giving us the profound understanding and clarity in life. Every sound, every letter, every word, every line of these Upanishads is vibrant with the powerful a powerful cognition powerful cognition the powerful cognition actually still Upanishads keep India alive it is Upanishad which is the backbone of India. Upanishad is the backbone of concept of Bharat. Upanishads are the backbone of human spiritual aspirations and realizations. All the spiritual aspirations and realizations we have put together is Upanishads. Upanishads are the embodiment of billions of peoples, millions of years of spiritual realization. Upanishads. There is nothing which is left out in Upanishads. There is not a single word unnecessary in the Upanishads. You can neither edit them nor comment on them. Commentary means something is left unexplained. You need to explain. Editing means something extra is there which is not required. No. No editing is possible. No commentary is possible. Editing is not only not possible, not permissible. Commentary is possible means sorry commentary is permissible but I tell you it is practically not possible because there is nothing which is unexplained all commentaries are repetitions or highlighting of some ideas which they wanted to highlight that's all whether it is Shankara Ramanuja Madhva or whoever wrote Bhashyas, commentaries. I am telling you, commentaries on Upanishads is not possible. It is permissible as dharmically, but not possible. Maybe Shankara wanted to highlight some concepts which is in the Upanishads, so he highlights in his commentary. Maybe Ramanuja want to organize it in certain way and present it for you to become enlightened. So he highlights some of the things. Highlighting may be possible. Commenting itself is not because there is nothing left unsaid in these great Upanishads. Best Upanishad is sitting with the master and just in silence the silence is not understood by the mind because mind is only verbalization and visualization when you are in silent with the master the best upanishads happen in you as the ultimate reality here the balasans is explaining of the critical decisions the just seeing through the third eye and sharing that with the participants problems will just like that be cleared by the solution that is going to be revealed today so now I request each of you to sit straight with your head, neck and spine in a straight line. Remember Swamiji through your third eye and get ready to receive the solution 
that is going to be revealed by Paramashiva. Yes, so now I will tell you what Paramashiva has revealed and uh, you need to actually leave, listen deeply because many times this is the most unknown unexpected component of you that has not been revealed so give your full listening and listen to it what was revealed by Paramashiva is your unknown fears about generating wealth and money in your life is the reason why you are not able to manifest wealth in your life let me repeat it. Your unknown fears of generating wealth and money in your life is the reason why you are not able to manifest money in your life. Now let me actually explain this to you. Because you need to kind of, this is like a single precise thing that Paramashiva revealed. I will tell you what that actually means in your life. See, many times in your life, you would have had situations or you would have seen situations where people with higher money or when people start generating more money, they get into more problems or they are forced or they are pushed towards handling huge responsibility. And when it comes to huge responsibility, it affects their day-to-day -day life, whether it's their health, whether it's their wealth, whether it's their own relationships, whether it's their time that they have, whatever they think is good for them, when they start generating money, you have seen situations and you have started cognizing that if you generate so much of money, then you have to take up so much of responsibility and that much of responsibility is going to restrict you and bind you in so many ways. And this is precisely the reason why you are not generating the wealth. Are you able to understand this? Yes. Yes. I am fully understanding this and it is very true. Can you relate it with one of some of your examples in your life? Yes, when I see people that have a lot of money and a lot of responsibility, I feel like they don't have time for family and for, you know, tradition and all of this. And I don't want to lose that family and tradition and spirituality. I don't want to lose that. Exactly. And that's why I'm not taking that responsibility to manifest wealth because I feel like the wealth is taking, a me, taking me away from what, what is you really precious wanted. to me because family is precious, spirituality is precious, tradition is pre precious to me. So I see very clearly. Yes. So it is precisely those unknown fears that you have about generating wealth and money is the reason why you're not manifesting it. Now, the moment, I will reveal the powerful cognition now. The moment you apply that powerful cognition in your life, you will see instantly breakthrough happens. Our tradition, our Vedic tradition is not something that you practice for years and then you see a result. It is just a change in the cognition that manifests as reality in your life. So now I will see through my third eye into the eyes of Paramashiva and reveal to you what is the powerful cognition you need to cherish, you need to hold and what is the Satya Sankalpa you need to take for that change to happen in your life. Yes? Yes. Yes.
Yes, ma'am. So now I will reveal what exactly Paramashiva revealed as a solution. It is the cognition. Resources are infinite because it is powered by consciousness. This is the powerful cognition. Listen again. Resources are infinite because it is powered by consciousness. Let me now explain what this actually means. The moment you have an understanding, see, the main reason in your life you are, why you are having a problem is because the moment you see money, wealth is generated, you forget that it is created from your consciousness. It is a matter that is binding you. The moment you know, see, money is just one resource. Health is one resource. Various different things are just resources to make what you want as a reality in your life. Now, resources are infinite, which means you have endless amount of resources that you have. It is not that if you don't have money, you are not going to make your life as a reality. You are not going to be able to manifest your reality. It is not stuck with that. Same way, if you don't have something in your life, maybe you don't have health right now in your body. That doesn't justify or that does not put you in a state where you are not able to create a reality. So the first statement, which is resources are infinite, which means for you to manifest your reality, everything is available. Just because something is an obstacle does not mean your reality is not going to happen. What you want is not going to happen. That is the first thing. Second thing, when you understand that everything is powered by consciousness. So even that resource is powered by consciousness. If wealth is a problem, when I have the cognition that it is the consciousness which is in me, which will change the outer world happenings, then that resource will come to me. The moment you feel money is binding, that time you see that money is something which is higher than consciousness. When you just understand that you are consciousness, from that state, when you just look at money, that you understand that that resource of money is powered by consciousness, the obstacle is clear. You are understanding this? Yes.
sorry i was muted i just want to explain that you have a partner and make your partner uh, scan your partner like how the balasans did write down the details of whatever parameshiva is showing from the deep silence mind does not understand silence because constantly mind is full of verbalization visualization and constantly start experiencing parameshiva in your third eye and more and more you start experiencing you can apply the nyananjan in your third eye your temple and on the banyan leaf like the balasan showed or you have parameshiva shila or yantra you can apply and all you need to do is scan your partner write down the detail and whatever appears from the deep silence as long as you know you are the body you are in the materialistic world but more and more you dissolve into parameshiva and disappear into parameshiva in beautiful space that we just had so much of darshan dissolving into that darshan rama pata vishekam and bhagwan parameshiva giving us the deep oneness the upanishad that darshan that we had dissolve into that disappear into that again and again and whatever the consciousness is showing you the all the words just appears write it down and share it with your partner let's start chanting the mahavakya deeply from our navel center and experiencing the deeper and deeper oneness with parameshiva manifesting the power of third eye solving the critical problems critical making the critical decisions let's start chanting the mahavakya intensely and deeply namo shivaya Ya 
Parama Shiva's third eye, manifesting all our third eye. Let the Amrita pour, let the Vanni open up, manifest in all of us. Let Parama Shiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third eye. Slowly, very slowly, open your eyes and whatever Paramashiva is showing, please go ahead and share it in the Facebook page after verifying authentically with your partner in tinyurl.com slash manifestation or in your social media sharing. Whatever Paramashiva made you experience and whatever he has shown as your critical decisions for your partner, whatever is really making you meaningful and the experience that you're having, share it with the world. Bhagwan says, more and more enriching and causing makes you expand. How much you contribute into your life, life for others, your space starts increasing. It's all about your space. And more and more when you contribute to others' life, raising them into conscious space, raising them into Parameshiva, making them understand the higher realities, your inner space expands more and more, making you understand what is the most important part of your life and how you can experience the higher reality. And deeper and deeper, you can experience Parameshiva as your reality. So please go ahead, share your experience in tinyurl.com slash power manifestation enriching and causing is the most beautiful way that bhagwan has given to make us experience the deep oneness with paramashiva let's surrender all this powerful cognition power manifestation all the initiation experience that bhagwan is showering on each one of us at bhagwan's lotus feet thanking bhagwan deeply for all that great gifts that he's showering on us and thanking all of you in the social media who stayed back to manifest the powers of Paramashiva and sharing all this great truth in your social media with the world and enriching and causing the world to experience Paramashiva as their reality. Thank you so much. And thank you for whoever is contributing. You can click on the dollar sign at the end of the YouTube to contribute to Paramashiva to Kailasha. Thank you so much for all your contribution. You saw the Anadan and so many great things that Bhagwan is offering to the world. And again and again, all your contribution to Kailasha is the greatest blessing for you. And with that, let's end the session with the Purnamantra, with the powerful cognition. Parameshiva is real. Meenakshi is real. Holding that space in your thought, word and action throughout the day. See yourself as Parandama, Parameshiva or Meenakshi and again and again when you align yourself you are in such oneness with Parameshiva manifesting Parameshiva as your reality. Now with this powerful cognition let's come to the end of the session and end with the Purnamantra. Sit straight with your head neck and spine in a straight line. Bring Parameshiva to your third eye and chant the Purnamantra. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamudashyate Purnasya Purnamataya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Sarvam Bhagavate Sri Nityanda Parmashivam Padukarpanamastu Om Nityanandam Thank you so much. See you after the next Darshan or Satsang in more Power Manifestation sessions. Thank you Nityanandam.